A Northeast Ohio couple wanted Southern California to be their final resting place, but that plan was derailed this month. Their cremated remains were stolen from a rental car in Los Angeles. News 5's Catherine Ross explains what happened and the search that's unfolding across the country. Downtown Cuyahoga Falls has its main states. Just down the road from the Clifford Shoemaker Funeral Home. A great little bar and restaurant down the road. It was well liked by Cuyahoga Falls folks. What's now a tiki bar once was Hunt's Restaurant, owned by David and Leslie Hunt. The queen of Front Street, yeah, a lot of people called her that, and she actually gave my dad the name the most handsome man on Front Street. Leslie ran the business after her husband died in 2009. Before well, she really passed away in December, Steve Shoemaker helped her make arrangements. Leslie was meticulous when she planned all this out. She uh, set up the cremation through me, but then gave me contacts of her friend Bob to contact for the transport out to California. Leslie wanted both her and David's cremated remains interred near her childhood home in Southern California. We planned that journey. We were honored to do that for her. Bob Gallagher was fulfilling his friend's final wishes this month. Close he tells our affiliate in Los Angeles he everybody. stopped at this Denny's after landing at LAX. After breakfast, he came out to find the window of his rental car smashed. Our luggage and uh, belongings were gone. Uh, so were the, uh, the contents of um, the parcel we were carrying. Uh, with the um, with David and Leslie really gave him the best advice I could and which was really just sit back and hope somebody finds him. Shoemaker says he then took a call from someone at a dog kennel who found one of the urns with the funeral home's number on it. David's remains had been found on a dead end street an hour away. They're still waiting for word on Leslie's remains. Even though she doesn't have a lot of family remaining, it was her final wish. So it's it's important to her friends that there's a she gets to where she's supposed to be. Gallagher has filed a police report and tells us he's received several tips about discarded luggage near that Denny's, but nothing's panned out. He says he's just anxious to give his friend her final piece. To let this be the end of the story, I I have to be able to say I that we're trying to do everything we can. Now, Shoemaker tells us Leslie's remains are in a white box with her name on it, as well as the number for the funeral home here in Cuyahoga Falls. He encourages anyone with any information to reach out. In Cuyahoga Falls, Catherine Ross, News 5. Man, oh man.